Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Durkin with North Dakota Teaching. Today I just wanted to go over three tips that are going to help you with a new school year. So I don't know about you, maybe you've already went back to school, but for me, our first day with kids is next Wednesday, which was a week from yesterday. We have three more days of training and then after that we will be rocking and rolling. So my first tip that I wanted to talk to you about goes along with that planning and preparing for a new school year. Now, of course, you're going to want to have your plans laid out for the first couple days. You're going to want to know what you're doing for those first couple days, but don't spend too much time focusing on the syllabus and your classroom procedures and doing all those pre-assessments. When you're planning, make sure you're planning a lot of activities that are fun and that are going to make students want to come back. At the end of your first day, it doesn't really matter what they learned. It really just matters, did they have fun and do they want to come back for a second day? Also with planning and preparing, make sure that everything you need for your room is ready to go, not just the day before, because then you might be up way too late, but a couple days before, the weekend before. Since today is Thursday for me, I know Friday is going to be spent getting everything I need ready for that first day of school so that as Saturday and Sunday roll along, I can kind of think about, oh, I forgot this or maybe I want to do this instead of just adding all of those things to an endless to-do list that I still need to do. Lastly, with that planning and preparing, plan what outfits you're going to wear for the first and second day of school because there is nothing worse than waking up that morning it's the first day of school you have no idea what you're going to wear you're already frantic and nervous because you're going to be meeting your students for the first time so plan your outfits ahead of time know what you're going to wear know where everything is that you need if you need a certain pair of shoes if you need a certain pair of jewelry have all of that laid out and ready number two Food and water. I don't know about you, but I do not get enough water in when I'm not at school. So it's really hard for me to get enough water in when I am at school. A couple things I like to do to make sure I'm drinking enough water is, now I already know what you're thinking. I can't drink water at school, then I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. I understand that and I feel your pain, but if you're not drinking water throughout the day, your throat's going to hurt, you'll probably get a headache, you're going to be tired, and you're going to start looking for snacks. So have your water ready. If you don't have a water fountain nearby, bring a couple of waters. If you don't have a sink in your classroom, bring a couple of waters. Whatever you need to do to make sure that you're staying hydrated so that you feel good for your students. Now back to those snacks. Pack your food and your snacks the night before if you're ready to go. If you don't have a microwave nearby, I would pack something simple like a sandwich. If you don't have a fridge, probably don't pack anything that needs to be refrigerated unless you have a good lunchbox. And for snacks, me anyway, if I'm not drinking water and if I didn't pack a snack, I'm like darting down the hallway. Who has candy? Where can I get some? Or I'm digging in the bottom of my desk eating the candy that I bought as rewards for students. So pack water, pack food, don't let yourself get hangry, and don't let yourself get dehydrated. Okay, my third tip for being prepared for back to school is I don't know if you are someone who likes to meditate or maybe you like to journal or maybe you like to listen to podcasts or certain music, but plan some time to just be mindful of this new school year. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to remember that you're there for a purpose. Every single one of your students is in your class for a very specific reason, and you're going to touch their life in some way or another this year, but they're also going to have a huge impact on your life. So just spend some time thinking about all of the ways that you know you're a great teacher. Spend some time thinking about some memories that you've had from past years teaching or even from when you were student teaching. We are all here for the same reason because we love kids and because we want to change lives. So don't forget that. Don't forget that you are special, that you are important, that you matter. I know that we spend so much time telling our students that they're important, that they matter and that we love them, but don't forget to do those things for yourself. So just be mindful that another school year is going to be hard and there's going to be challenges and there's going to be things that pop up that we don't expect. But through all of those things, you're still making a difference and you're still showing up for your students. So just be mindful. 
Okay, to sum up this video, you're going to be prepared so you're not spending the night before staying up too late and then not getting a good night's rest. Two, you're going to pack food and water so that you don't get hangry, dehydrated, get a headache, and all those other horrible things, or even just running around looking for candy. And three, you're going to smile and remember that there's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you're a teacher. God has a great, great plan in store for you for this school year. So just take it as it comes and enjoy the journey. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at North Dakota Teaching or even find me on Facebook. I would love to connect with you. I would love to chat with you. Just send me a message. Take me in a picture. Comment my name on something, whatever it may be. And until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Good luck with your 2019-2020 school year. You got this.